Borg Warner is the recognized leader in advanced products and technologies that satisfy customer needs in powertrain components and system solutions. Our goal is to find the ideal solution with respect to technology, quality, and process. Borg Warner Turbo Systems meets the highest demands of the industry and sets new standards for high performance engines. Borg Warner not only develops turbocharging systems, but also modifies them to meet specific customer requirements. Borg Warner is a leading OE supplier to some of the highest performing production cars in the world, like the Porsche 911 Turbo, the first ever gasoline engine with a serial production variable turbine geometry turbocharger. With 14 facilities in 12 countries around the world, our vision is to be our customer's first choice for charge air system solutions and components. The pioneering spirit of Louis Schwitzer helped to move BorgWarner, then Schwitzer Company, into the arena of forced induction. Turbochargers became a primary focus for the company in the late 1950s with the series production of turbochargers for Caterpillar Incorporated. A drive to win in professional motorsports contributed to a culture dedicated to creating market-leading technology. In the 1960s, some of that technology was licensed to a little-known company in Germany called Kudla, Kopp & Kausch, or 3K. Those technical competencies led to market growth and strong supplier partnerships that are still in place today. The Series EFR program um, really grew out of the vision of a small group of really passionate people at Fort Warner. We wanted to raise the bar uh, to see how far we could take some of these technologies um, in the spirit of setting a new standard in engine boosting in the performance aftermarket. In the process, we wanted to prepare um, some of the same technologies for um, OE vehicle use, whether it's in the commercial segment or niche vehicles in OE passenger car. I think what it what it does is we've we've set a precedent to, uh, to to take new technologies and quickly put them into the aftermarket to get some experience with them. There were a lot of what ifs at the onset. I mean, we were asking, uh, what if we could do this or what if we could do that. All those questions really stemmed from this idea of creating a, um, a turbo that was so feature-rich that it could actually change the market's perspective of, of what could be done, what a premium boosting device looks like. It, you set the bar so high that for somebody else to come along to live with the technology and the value that you have, it's going to require a serious, maybe an act of God, I don't know, but it's going to require some serious, serious work for anybody who wants to challenge the turbocharger. I've owned turbocharged cars for the past 20 years and have been in the engine and turbo industry for the past 15 years. So over that period of time I've seen a lot of ideas come and go both on the OE side and uh, from the aftermarket. So I. I had a pretty clear vision of what a top shelf performance turbo needed to look like and what it should include. Uh, definitely the biggest design challenge is working with Brock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's very, he's very demanding um, in a good way. You know, he he, he wants his cake and he, and he eats it too. So uh, I think it was the uh, proverbial ten pound in a five pound bag, fitting everything in that we needed. I mean, if it was something that we wanted in there, something we thought should be in there, we could just get it in there and you didn't have to get um, prior approval. If you take a group of turbo engineers who are also racers and engine builders themselves, and you ask them, what would you want under the hood? You know, suddenly they're designing for their cars and their dreams. It's not just another turbo anymore, it's theirs too. When we gave this group a clean sheet and a green light and combined that with tools and resources afforded by one of the world's leading turbo manufacturing companies, we got something unparalleled in the history of Borg Warner, and I dare say in the history of the industry. We got passion in a piece of turbo machinery that has given unmatched performance. That series EFR. The actual design of these turbos was based on a lot of dialogue with key users and installers. Say, you know, 
it's been it, it's been a pleasure working with you guys because you're you're a huge company and you're dealing with a much smaller um, group of individuals here. But you you know when we say something, we have your ear. You you listen to what we have to say. It's refreshing to see such a large company take the grassroots approach that you're taking. Ask us something, write it down, you know, get back to us on it, and uh, and actually make inline changes on things that we've said. Uh, these companies really serve to make the passion of the group um, be focused on producing exactly what the market craved for new frontier and turbo technology and capability. In order for the product to be distinctive in the eyes of the marketplace, uh, we really felt the turbos had to have several key attributes. Uh, they were best in market efficiency, best in market inertia and response, uh, but it also had to be low in weight and uh, it had to contain materials truly appropriate for high exhaust gas temperatures. We also wanted to have some industry unique integrated features that would lower the consumer's costs as well as reduce uh, insulation barriers. Borg Warner is a company that uh, continues to grow as a result of investing in technology. Uh, technology is a cornerstone of Series E Evolve. Our prime objective was to provide the absolute highest technology turbos ever available to the performance aftermarket. The feature for Series EFR is the titanium aluminum turbine wheel. We really felt that this was going to define the turbo. It's what was really going to get the customer excited. Ball bearings, forged milled compressor wheels, stainless steel investment cast turbine housings, large internal waste gates, the integrated compressor recirc valve, the integrated boost control solenoid valve. All of those things make for a great feature package, but we think that the titanium aluminide wheel, it's fast response, low inertia characteristics um, really set the tempo for the program. As with any new program that doesn't just accept status quo and doesn't just do something because that's what we've always done before, you know, there were new challenges. We recognize that even our functional departments would have to flex and adapt uh, to make this program actually happen. Fortunately, that's exactly what did happen. Um, groups have been flexible uh, so that we could take the critical issues head on and not only overcome them, but see the product as well as the overall company actually benefit from the experience and learn from it. Product quality is a strategic focus in Bill Warner. Quality is systematic, and it's truly owned by the employee partners, not just those in manufacturing or production role. I was sold on this thing since day one after seeing your guys' facility in Asheville and seeing the level that you guys approach manufacturing, quality control, and repeatability across the board. I don't think any other vendor or I guess any other turbocharger manufacturer could do what board owners do. I can't imagine that. Testing is a very critical stage of all our processes. Um, we, we really feel this is where we can stand above the masses and uh, the new entrance into the turbo market. Uh, the Project Turbos uh, spent hundreds uh, and hundreds of hours on gas stands performing a wide range of really painstaking tests. Uh, measurements and seemingly endless cycles of checking and cross-checking have helped us flush out flaws and defects before the turbo is bolted on the first customer's engine. So what's the result, right? This is the good part.
The application range for uh, Series EFR covers 200 to 1,000 horsepower for singles. The product incorporates commonly used uh, T25, T3, and T4 inlet footprints. A host of convenience features puts the user in control of the install. The low inertial internals produce a neck snapping experience that makes Series EFR the logical choice for kit builder and user.